Brad Nessler joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. We're inside this dome stadium for tonight's matchup between the Florida Gators and the Hurricanes of Miami. There won't be any shortage of athletes in this game. Florida and Miami are about to rumble for the Seminole War Canoe. And here come the Hurricanes. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Florida has a sensational quarterback on their side who's a true leader. I think his presence on the field gives them a slight advantage. And Lee, I think that's going to be the difference in an extremely close game. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. I'm picking the king. teed up and we're ready for kickoff and he got all of this one great kick number four fields it in the end zone first and ten ball on the 16 yard line Miami comes out in the shotgun. Here's a little draw play. Makes a move with the spin. And down he goes. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28. Going with the shotgun here. Wants to throw outside. Found his man. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right. He's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. And he's going to be sacked. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their arms back right now, coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass to the half. Let him get behind the rush and then take off behind his blockers for six. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Kane, line up with three wide. Back to pass. Let's it fly. Complete. And he's tackled. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Third down and 12. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Ace backfield. Drops back to pass. Looks. Here they come. And he's going to come up with a sack. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. up to punt it away. Number 39 punts it and it's a good one. Number 16 takes it to 14. Great start so far as their defense forced the early punt and now the offense gets a shot at putting the first points on the board. They'll take over at the 15. They'll take over at the 15 yard line. First and 10. 
The Gator set up in the gun. Steps up, looking. Waits till the last moment. Someone got a hand on it. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and a ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 15. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Let's it go, and he can't make the catch. Dropped by the wideout. Number three, the intended receiver on the play. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up. He's going left. And he can't hang on to it. Not a good series there throwing the ball. Three and out, and they were all incompletions. They line up to punt this one away. He punts it. Number four signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 45. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 45-yard line. Miami comes out of the shotgun, drops back to pass, and it's incomplete and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 45. McCain, come out of the ace formation, steps up in the pocket. He's under some heat, and he's hit hard. This guy's really making the most of his first year on the field. What a sack. I would never have been able to guess he's only a freshman. He's got such great instincts out there. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on their own 39. Number three has four receivers lined up here. He's looking. Going deep on the left side. And it's the senior. And he's all the way down to the 23-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball in the 23. They'll bring him down. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. Here comes the pressure. And they get the sack. Great speed to find his way to the quarterback. You know, if I were the coach, I'd line this kid up at defensive end every now and then. Wow, can you imagine that? On third long type situations, he'd make a great rush in, Kirk. I like that. I like that, Kirk. Second and 12 coming up here. This is the sixth play of this drive. The team come out going three wide. He steps up, looks, picked off. And a great set of hands by the defender on that one. How about that, Kirk? We spent the whole week talking to some of his teammates, and no one told us he could catch like that. You're right, Coach. I wonder if this guy played both ways in high school. They'll set up shot at the 12-yard line. Number 
12 as five receivers lined up here. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, looking, incomplete pass. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. Second and 10, ball on the 12. They line up in the shotgun. High snap, steps up, he's looking, throws it to the outside. And it falls incomplete. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's third down and 10. All on their own 12. And they have three receivers bunched. Back to pass. He steps up, looks, throws this one out to the right. At the 40. Got an opening. Down the sideline. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. First and 10, ball on the 41. from the shotgun. Hot, 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 hot. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Wants to throw outside. And it's caught. And he's taken down. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 36. 36 yards. Florida lines up with three receivers. He drops back. He's looking. Steps up. Short toss. Complete. Brought down. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yep, just a wasted play right there. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Brings in their nickel package. He's going left. Incomplete. He couldn't make the catch inbound. You can't fault the receiver. He did all he could to make the catch. The pass was just too far out of play. Three wide outs to the right side. He steps up, looks, wants to throw outside. Complete. It's the freshman. How crazy was that pass play, coach? Man, let me tell you guys something. I'm still shaking my head on that one. out in the shotgun. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Florida. PAT. The down is just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Florida, seven. Miami, nothing.
Looks like they're ready for the kick. And they'll be returning this one. Number four takes it at the four, tries to juke. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five-yard penalty, first down. Thought we might see a personal foul there, but the referee thought differently. He didn't try to rip his helmet off, so it's only going to be a five-yard. They'll go to work at the 25. They have three receivers bunched. Not on. Not on. Not on. Not on. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's going right. Got it. And he's tackled. Good yardage that time on the pass. The thing that makes this play work is the quarterback. He throws this thing right in there. What an arm this quarterback's got. Second and one. Ball on their own 34. Little handoff. He jukes. Shifty move there. They'll bring him down. He picked up a first down on that run, coach. Yep, and you know, if you can pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open up the play action pass. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38. Ace backfield. Might have been some early movement up front. Dead ball. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still a first false down. start will go against the offense. Yep, and that's five more yards they've got to try to pick up on this next play. Unnecessary stuff. First and 15 now. Ball on the 33 yard line. up the play action fires a bullet out to the right and he can't make the catch a bullet to the receiver but he couldn't hang on the quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be that guy's got to make the catch second down and they got 15 for the first down ball on the 33 number three is back in the gun He drops back, steps up in the pocket, throws it deep downfield. Down the sideline to the 20. Goodbye. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field out there. the extra point. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. Number eight fields it in the end zone. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Gators set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down, and he's hammered as he lets it go. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. If he didn't hold on to the ball so long, Kirk, he wouldn't have got drilled like that. 
The Gators come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. He throws a dart to the left. And he can't hang on to it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Third and ten. Ball on the 20. The offense better get that defensive tackle blocked up. He can make plays. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. He's going right. Into traffic, and it's picked off. The 10. Touchdown, Miami. The pressure definitely got to the quarterback there because that pass was not on target. Bro, were those guys coming after him or what? He did the worst thing he could possibly do. Throw it up and grab it. Defense was just sitting on that. They were in zone coverage. As soon as they saw he was in trouble, they were all over the football. the PAT. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Miami 13, Florida 7. Miami is ready to kick it away. Number 18 and number 8 back ready to return. He hits a booming kick. Number 8 fields it in the end zone. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. He's going to win this time. They'll get the ball here at the 15-yard line. the gun. He dropped back. Wants to throw outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. Too much heat. Completing the pass is more important than throwing the ball 100 miles an hour. That's true. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Second and 10. Ball on the 15. The Gators set up in the gun. He's taking bake move, and he's taken down. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 16-yard line. The Gators with four receivers. Back to pass. He steps up, looks. He goes downtown. And it's incomplete. And this one could be on the defense. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yard penalty, first down. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and 10, ball on the 31. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. It's a bad snap. Steps up in the pocket. Throws to the middle. Brought down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Florida lines up in a bunch formation. They'll throw on first down. Throw. And down he goes. He ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did. And he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's second down and five to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The 
Gators come out in the shotgun on the ground with the tail back. And he's hit hard. Ooh, he just went right through him. Who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The defense needs to be mistake free. This quarterback is very capable of making them pay right now. It's tipped. Almost picked off. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Florida lining up the punt. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. The defense stopped him. That fourth down play was very important as far as the big Mo is concerned. Now they have momentum on their side. Go for it. Excellent field position to start the drive. Number three, lines up in the shotgun. Rolls to the right, looking over the middle. Great stiff arm. And he's tackled. And now he's closing in on 3,500 yards with that last pass. Wow, those are some pretty impressive season totals. turns up when in the red zone and that's when you turn to Old Spice red zone when performance matters the most they've got about a hundred tight ends in there for this goal line play drops back to pass fires it quickly he's got it touchdown nice toss to the tight end to cap off the drive he looked for him because he knew based on the defensive set that he'd have a good shot at completing that for a score Tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it deep. Number 18 fields it in the end zone. The offense heads out onto the field. In their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. They'll start this drive at the 20. When this quarterback's in the zone, as he is now, he can do a lot of damage to the defense. He drops back. Short toss. The ball is tipped. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Number 12 is back in the gun, back to pass, steps up, he's looking, he's going left, found his man. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing.
first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Gators come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. Look out. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 46. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. And he can't make the catch. Dropped by the wideout. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. Third and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. He steps up, looks. He's going left. It's deflected. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good looking play, wasn't it, coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Gators set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Once and all. Going deep. He's got it. Touchdown. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. Here's the Pontiac Drive Summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. Four, fields it in the end zone. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll set up shot at the 21. Number three comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Home run ball in the air. It falls incomplete, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. So it's second and ten. All on their own 21. Miami comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Across the middle, he's got an opening. Got him on the run. He goes down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Kane line up with 
four wide out. Throws a stiff arm. Tackle. Miami takes a timeout. Second and nine coming up here. Ball right around midfield. The Kane come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Punch the throw outside. Got it to the senior. Miami calls a timeout. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Miami comes out with three receivers bunch. Throws. And it's caught. Knocked out of bounds. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Second and six. Ball in the 31. Miami comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Throws short. Complete. And he's tackled. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Miami goes with the ace set here. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. Someone got a hand on it. Gets it up, and it sails through the upright. Let's take a glance down the Pontiac Drive somewhere. like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number 18 fields it in the end zone. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll go to work at the 11. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He's going left. Someone got a hand on it. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. Half the distance from the spot of the foul. Still on first down. First down and 15 to go. Ball on the six. Number 12 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Great concentration. He picks up a yard on the play. Second down and 14. Ball on the seven. They'll work from the shotgun. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Miami 23, Florida 14.
Miami will be kicking off to start the second half. He boots it deep downfield. Number eight fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 20. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. Good move. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 19. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Looking. Throws down the middle. Got it. And he's taken down. That was a laser, Kirk. This guy has a huge arm. Yeah, it's like he's throwing darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles an hour. It's third and inches. Ball on their own 30. The Gators line up in a goal line formation. Short and they hand it off. And he's hit hard. An incredible series for the defense. And they get him out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. the ball away number four calls for the fair catch and they make the fair catch at the 29 and now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession they'll start this drive at the 29 yard line Miami sets up in the eye pullback on the inside give Good job of wrapping up the big fullback and not letting go. That can sometimes be a tough thing to do to pull down a big, strong fullback for a loss. Nice play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He throws it. It's dropped. Incomplete pass. Number 82. The intended receiver on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the 29. Ball on the 29 yard line. The Kane come out showing three wide. He drops back. He tosses it short, and it falls incomplete. The halfback just ran out of real estate. That's the quarterback's fault. He needs to put that pass where his guy doesn't have to be standing in the third row to make the catch. They line up to punt this one away. Number 16, Number 39 gets it off. Number 16 takes it to 28. He spins around. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 30. up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Looks like he tried to force that one. The defense was in a zone there and the quarterback needs to do a better job of finding a passing window to throw through. Well, that window must have been tinted because he almost threw a pick. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Florida comes out in the shotgun. He's going right. Found his man. He's all the way down to the 39. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football.
first and ten. Ball on the 39. Florida comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He steps up. Down the middle. The ball is tipped. That close to being intercepted. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. He's looking with the throw. And it's caught, and he's tackled about six yards on that completion. It's third down and four to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. He jukes him, shakes off a tackle. They'll bring him down. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. First and 10. Ball on the 28. Florida in a four wide set. They'll throw on first down. He unloads it. It's tipped. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. So it's second and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Another run, and he's going to lose yards on this one. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. So another third down upcoming for the offense. And they have three receivers bunched. Drops back to pass. Looks. He's looking for his man. It falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. They line up to punt this one away. Number 10 boots it way up there. Number 22 signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and 10, ball on the 20. The Hurricanes go with the I formation. Play action. Throws in the middle. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receivers still can make the catch. You're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. The great ones will catch anything. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Miami sets up with four receivers. Looking. And he's going to be sacked. And yeah, we got an injured player on the field. Third and 14. Ball on their own 16. Miami lines up for the shotgun set. Makes a move. And he's taken down. If he could have extended that run, he might have reached the first down marker. Capital if, Brad. If the defense was asleep, it might have worked. Fourth and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Number 39 punts it, and it's a good one. And it's out of bounds at the 36-yard line. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. They'll go to work at the 41-yard line. Start the drive at the 41-yard line. First and 10. 
The Gators set up in the gun. On the ground, up the middle. Spins upfield. And they make the stop. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 44. Florida lines up with three receivers. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's going left. And it falls incomplete. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Gators line up with four wideouts. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Oh, he had his man, too. Yep, he just overthrew him. Next time, he might want to take something off of it. Number four, awaiting the return. Number 10, punts it, and it's a good one. Number four, calls for the fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. It's first and 10, ball on the 20. Number three with three wide receivers. Nice play fake. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. The Hurricanes come out in a two tight end set. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Miami 23, Florida 14. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 20-yard line. Miami lines up for the shotgun set. Steps up. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. And he's got him on the fly. And that's 1,000 yards for the year. Well, this guy deserves a pat on the back. Nice accomplishment for that young man. First and ten. Ball on the 50. And the impact player at tight end is in the zone. On the ground, up the middle. A little juke. He tries to spin. And down he goes. And the fullback busts through for about seven yards. Second down and three to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Miami lines up with three receivers. On the ground with the tailback. Tackle. And the halfback draw gets him the first. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. They keep it on the ground with a 
tailback. There's a fumble picked up by the linebacker. Coach, what can you do to avoid those turnovers? Well, you just got to get back to the fundamentals. For the skilled players, that means hanging on to the football. They'll set up shop at the 38. At the 38 yard line. First and 10. Florida lines up with a shotgun set. Rolls right. He lets it go. And they push him out. About three yards on the play fake. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 41. The Gators come out in a bunch formation. And he's taken down. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Gators come out in a shotgun. He drops back. He steps up. Throws. It falls incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Defensive tackle can do a lot of damage when he's in the zone like he is now. Drop back to pass. Sacked, and they'll turn it over. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. with three wide. Tries to shoot. Sheds a tackler. And they hit him in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 38. The Hurricanes line up in an eye formation. Inside handoff. He jukes. They'll bring him down. They get five yards on the play. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 33-yard line. Miami comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Looks, he rolls out to the right, down the middle, batted ball. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass, especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. Lines up for a long field goal, and I'm not sure he's got the power to make this one. The kick is up. And he got it. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary.
Number 39, ready to kick. Number eight, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 18, takes it at the four. The offense heads out onto the field. On their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. At the 24-yard line. First and 10. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. And he's got the freshman. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20. He goes down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. Pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They line up with trips to the right, back to pass, into coverage, and the defense has it. Got some open field, and he's tackled. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. You're right, Coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. They'll start this drive at the 16. The Kane line up in a goal line formation. Shake and bake move. Brought down. Florida takes a timeout. Right. Second and six. Ball on the 20. They line up in the jumbo set. Inside handoff. Juke move. He can scoop. Miss tackle. At the 40. Down the sideline. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way down. To the four-yard line. Florida calls a timeout. Since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They put everyone up on the line. On the ground, up the middle. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The big fella couldn't get any momentum going. It's tough to get this guy down in the backfield. He's always falling forward. But on that one, they hit him before he could get his weight going forward. The Hurricanes come to the line with their jumbo package. And off to the fullback. Touchdown, Miami! They went to their power back to get him in. I love to watch this guy play football. He just lowers his head and dares people to get in front of him. the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary.
Miami ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Number eight fields it in the end zone. The defense bent about as far back as you can that last series before getting the interception. Hey, a defense can do somersaults or even a triple south cow just as long as they keep the offense on the end zone. Did you just say south cow? Yep. I dated one back in college. Man, could she cook. The Gators come out in the shotgun. He drops back. He'll dump this one off. Incomplete. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. Second and 10. Ball on the 17. Number 12 is in the zone and looking to make a play. He passes it. He has him on the fly at the 30, to the 20, and he's all the way down to the 7. That was a big-time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. The defense gets set as they hope to create another red zone turnover. He came down with it. Touchdown. Great connection between the quarterback and receiver to put up six points. These two have an unspoken communication that comes from hours of practice. Tacks on the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Miami 33, Florida 21. Lining up for the onside kick here. With the onside kick. Well, that should pretty much do it for him. Well, at least these guys showed great effort. My hat goes off to these young men for playing so hard out there today. They'll get the ball here at the 48-yard line. Miami will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. Florida takes a timeout. Second down and 12. Ball right around midfield. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this block. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball right around midfield. They line up in the jumbo set. the ground with the tailback. He jukes him. Tackle. The offense went the way we thought they would. Try to grind it out on third down. Didn't work. Hey, they're winning. Now it's time to put the trust in your defense to perform well. And this ball game's over. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. Miami came out here very focused, and they took care of business. 
Nice, nice win for this football team. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2006. We hope you all join us again. Again, our final score, Miami 33, Florida 21. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.